Hey, how are you? This is Pastor Jim Kibler. How are we doing? I want to talk to you today here in Healing School about, I want to answer a question for you. Is healing from God? Is healing from God? A lot of people want to know that. They say, well, healing is natural. Your body heals. Yeah, it does. Who do you think designed it? Wasn't me. I didn't design your body. Huh? I didn't design your body at all. As a matter of fact, I had nothing to do with it. I had nothing to do with it. I didn't design your body. I didn't say, well, let's make it like this, and let's make it like that. And no, I didn't do any of that. Matter of fact, when, when God designed our bodies, he didn't even ask me what I thought. Actually, when he wrote this book, he never asked me, never asked my opinion. He still hasn't. He didn't say, Jimmy, what do you think I should put in my book? I said, well, Lord, let me think about it. I'll get back to you. That never happened. No. No, God, this is God's word. People wrote it down as, as they received it from the Lord. And some of the Gospels are a historical uh, recollection, but it was inspired by God, word for word, inspired by God. It's, it's from God. Amen. Amen. Does God heal people? Is God the, the one who heals people? I tell people this. Jesus is our healer. Jesus and God, one and the same. Holy Ghost, all three, three in one. God is our healer. Every time Jesus healed a person on this earth, it was God healing them. Every time I get somebody healed by using the name of Jesus and working through the power of his might, that's how I get people healed. People say, well, Pastor Jim, you can't heal nobody. I sure can. And I do it by using the name of Jesus, which he gave me, and operating in the power of God's might. Jesus operated in God's power. Well, he was God, of course. And he was operating in God's power. But so am I. Every time I speak over somebody with cancer and that cancer goes away, who do you think did that? God did. Let me show you. Ephesians chapter 6. Verse 10, finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. This tells me that the power of God's might is available to me because Paul said, be strong in it. I said, okay. Okay, I'll do it. I will use that power. If Paul says I can be strong in the power of God's might, you think I'm not going to take advantage of that? I got news for you. And I'm going to use it to get God's people healed. Because that's available to me. Jesus said in Luke chapter 9, he called his disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. What is that? The power to cure diseases. The power over all devils. Jesus gave this to us. Why are you sick and broke? Why is anybody sick and broke when we can operate in the power of his might? And Jesus gave us the power over all this. I'm telling you what, people. We are not meant to live defeated, sick lives. 
We're not supposed to live that way. We're absolutely not supposed to live that way. And too many people are sick. A bishop up in Philadelphia, when, when they brought me up there, he said, the reason we brought Pastor Kibler here is because there's so much sickness. There was a lot less when I left. He said, we brought Pastor Kibler here because there's so much sickness. There should not be so much sickness. There shouldn't be. If Jesus was the pastor of this church, would there be any sickness in this church? No. If Jesus was the pastor of this church, would anybody in this church stay broke? The answer is no. I have his name to use. And I believe when I use that name, things happen. Everything I say when I use that name happens. Without fail and without delay. And I can operate in the power of God's might. Amen. I can cause the power of God to heal somebody by using the name of Jesus. Now you think about that before you go to bed tonight. I can cause the power of God to heal people by using the name of Jesus. Now that is an awesome, awesome statement. I'm going to write that down. I can cause the power of God to heal people by using the By using the name of Jesus. I'm going to put that on Facebook after a while. And I'm telling you, people are going to go crazy. These signs shall follow them that have faith in my name. That's on, a, on the back of our board. See it back there? keep that up on the wall in our church. I don't, I, every time I stand here and preach to my church, I'm looking at that sign. These signs shall follow them that believe. And what we believe in is, is the name of Jesus. That's what I believe in. And Paul said, I can operate in the power of his might. That's why Paul said, when I am weak, I am strong. I am weak in my own power. In my own power, I have no strength to do any of this. But I'll tell you what, in the power of God, when I use his power, there's nobody I can't get healed. Let me read that again. I can cause the power of God to heal people by using the name of Jesus. How did Jesus heal people? He caused the power of God to heal them when he spoke. Jesus caused the power of God to heal people when he spoke. He caused the power of God to heal people when he spoke. When Jesus touched people, the power of God healed them. When he spoke, it's like the centurion came to Jesus. He said, speak the word only. 
Jesus said, go on home. Your servant is healed. The minute he said that, the power of God went into that servant. It didn't happen until Jesus spoke it. But when he spoke it, it happened. That is when the power of God went into the servant. And the centurion got home and his servant was healed. Amen. When Jesus said to the dead girl in Mark chapter 5, Arise, damsel. When he spoke that, the power of God went into her body. I'm telling you what, it resurrected her from the dead the same as the power of God resurrected Jesus when he was dead. And believe me, Jesus was dead. Stone cold dead. As dead as anybody has ever been. Dead. But the power of God resurrected him. And the power of God resurrected that little girl when he spoke it. And the power of God removed a lady's brain tumor in this church when I spoke it. In the name of Jesus. It is the name of Jesus that activates the power of God. I'm going to I want to go back through this revelation you just got today. This is incredible incredible revelation. Number 1. I can cause the power of God to heal people by using the name of Jesus. Number two, Jesus caused the power of God to heal people when he spoke. Number three, the name of Jesus activates the power of God. Now that's some incredible revelation for you today. And that's straight from the Lord. He gave it, I did not have it when I started this message 12 minutes ago. 12 minutes and 24 seconds ago, I can see the clock on there. I did not have this revelation, but I do now, and I am excited. My goodness, thank you, Lord. I ask God every day for revelation of his word. You have got some incredible revelation today. There is nobody we can't get healed because we will activate the power of God to heal them by using the name of Jesus. Hey, go to our website, increasenow.com. If you know anybody that needs healing, please bring them here. We accept no offerings from sick people. You cannot buy healing. It's all free. It's all free. We don't want your money. We just want to get you healed and returned to your church and returned to your family. Go to increasenow.com. This message will be posted there this afternoon. You can watch it over and over again and you can tell everybody about it. It is called, Is Healing from God? So be sure and watch it. Hey, have a great day today. And remember this, God's word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.